what's up you guys a welcome or welcome back to my channel oh my gosh it's been so long i almost feel like like i just i'm embarrassed i'm embarrassed because it's been so long that i've seen and talked to you guys but as you guys know i'm pregnant and i'm tired okay so that's a big reason why i haven't had a chance to come on here record i had so much you know that i wanted to do but pregnancy is taking me out okay and i am in month eight of my pregnancy i'm actually about to go into month nine pretty soon here but i wanted to put some content on my channel before baby gets here because i probably won't post for you know a little bit of time while i'm adjusting to new mom life because i'm gonna be a first time mom so yeah as you can see by the title of this video i am going to be reviewing the kali cosmetics power plush longwear foundation i have it right here with me it's so cute the packaging we're gonna get into it but yeah so i did like my makeup off camera a little bit i just did a little something to my brows um put some lashes on some eyeliner nothing too big of a deal i really want to focus on the foundation and i'll do the rest of my makeup as well after the foundation but i'm really wanting to talk about this foundation because it came out i feel like this foundation came out in like january something like that maybe february but yeah i was not feeling like recording so now we're getting to it okay and let's see where we want to start first oh y'all i guess y'all probably haven't seen but i took my nails off because i don't want to be with my baby scratching and clawing and all that stuff so i took my nails off so they look a raggedy raggedy mess but that's okay you guys so the first thing i want to do is actually prime my face before i get into foundation and telling you guys you know what is the claim to fame for this new foundation i'm going to be taking the lawless set the stage primer it's a hydrating plus soothing primer so i'm just going to take a little bit of this oh i just put so much in my hand let me just oh yeah Mm, do like this for a little bit and then rub that in as well you guys i am not like big on tiktok or anything but i posted a tiktok like a while ago and it hit a million freaking views i was like <laughs> i was just so shook by that because like you really can't pop off from one video i didn't pop off but i went from like 90 followers to like 500 so i thought that was really cool and i don't know i like the idea of tiktok i'm just not good at it so yeah all right so now that the face is primed oh yeah another thing i want to say y'all don't laugh in my chair i gotta be comfortable while i'm recording so i got this chair in the back and yeah it's just a little bit much but now that i have primed my face we could actually get into what this foundation's claim to fame is so i'm actually going to go on the website which i probably should have already had it pulled up but i didn't that's just me so let's go to kyliecosmetics.com all right we're going to the official website and oh she has a new fragrance i bet i wonder if it smells good i ain't gonna do it i ain't gonna do it i ain't gonna do it i ain't gonna buy it y'all but i love like i don't know i just really got into fragrances recently so hmm if she has a mini i might buy it <laughs> i don't know okay so let's talk about the power plush longwear foundation you guys it does retail for $36, which is like, I feel that's about normal for foundation in the luxury area. Um, there are, how many shades does she have? There's quite a few on here. It doesn't say how many shades, but yeah, it comes in one fluid ounce. In, it comes in one fluid ounce. It's supposed to hydrate and blur. Is this really only one fluid ounce? Yeah, 30 milliliters. That's kind of crazy, but yeah it says my power plush longwear foundation is a hydrating instantly smoothing foundation with medium to buildable coverage and up to 12 hours of comfortable wear it also says this weightless formula seamlessly blends into the skin to blur fine lines pores and texture 
It leaves a soft, cushiony feel with an airbrushed satin finish that's not too dewy, not too matte, but the perfect in between. Whew, I gotta catch my breath, you guys, because I cannot breathe. Like, this baby got me not being able to breathe, okay? So I'm just doing the best I can. But it also says that it is a vegan, cruelty free, paraben free, and clean whatever that means because sometimes i'll be like is it really clean but yeah it says so for the how to use steps it says apply one to two pumps of foundation on the back of your hand or on a palette evenly distribute product around your face blend with the kylie foundation brush which i did not purchase because i'm going to be using my own foundation brush today i didn't want to buy too much i do have the kylie cosmetics concealers with me today i have I have used them on my channel before and I actually really like them and that's what convinced me to actually purchase this foundation because if the formula is anything I like I think I'm gonna like it so yeah so another thing I'll say I noticed so far is that it says that there's about 615 reviews and altogether it has a total of four stars um we'll see for ourselves so I think I'm ready to just get into it let's look at this packaging real quick it's pink just like everything she has on you know her website so i'll let you guys get an up close personal look at that i think it's really cute um yeah i really like it and i'm just like really into pink like when i found out i was having a girl my whole aesthetic changed i used to be really into the green sages and i still love it don't get me wrong but right now i'm in my pink mom era so this is so cute so I did pick up two shades. I got 7N, which stands for neutral, and I got 6.5 neutral, so I don't know which one is going to be my shade. I'm going to go with the lighter one first just because it has been winter, so I don't really know how this is going to go. Here is the bottle. We have a nice light. Is this, is this like a crystal matte bottle? I feel like that's what it's considered. It's so pretty to me. I love when cosmetics use bottles like this. Um, and this is just a little close-up. This is what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. It does come with a pump. I love a pump. So I'm just going to put one little kind of, let me shake it up just in case because I don't even know what's going on up in here. I'm going to put like one little, okay, that's actually cute. So I just put like one little pump on the back of my hand. And I'm going to try this out to see if this is my shade or not. Let's see. And it looks really good. Hmm. So far, I, I think I like that one. But I'm going to try 7N as well. Just in case. And I'm going to put that on the other side of my face. Okay, so I'm putting 7N on my face. Hmm. Actually, I really like both of them. But I think I'm going to go 7N. Let's go 7N. So let me find something to wipe all of this off. I really need to buy some new sponges and probably some new brushes and stuff. I don't know when I'm going to do that. I've been buying all baby stuff, so it's just going to have to wait. But let's go ahead and wait a minute. Let me make sure I'm grabbing the right one. Let's go ahead and apply 7N on the face. Put that, put it in different spots. It's very, very soft on the face. I don't know how to explain it. But it feels really good so far. I'm not mad at it at all. So I'm just going to take this brush. Yes, this is a clean brush. You can tell. I don't have any product on this brush. It's just stained. So I'm just going to go ahead and start blending this out. Mm-hmm. And it's actually blending out really, really nicely. Okay. Hmm. I almost feel like I could have mixed these shades as well. 
but I might try that on another day. And I'm also just looking into my camera phone because I want to see what it's looking like on camera and it looks pretty good. So I um don't want to put too much on here. I am about to put a little bit on my forehead because I want to blend this out on my forehead as well. But I'm not too big on the whole forehead makeup. But I don't want to have like a little ghosty look on my forehead. So. Oh, one thing I feel like I forgot to mention was that this is like a 12 hour formula. Y'all know I don't even play like that. I do not wear makeup for 12 hours. Like, absolutely not. So. You will not be catching me wearing this for 12 hours. I'm not going to be testing out a 12 hour wear test for you guys because I don't even play like that. I just personally don't wear makeup for that long. Um, when I get in the house, I'll be ready for it to come off. So if I'm going somewhere and I do put on like a full face makeup, when I come back, I'm more than likely going to take my makeup off because it just feels like you're free. Don't get me wrong. I love, love, love makeup. Like, this is, like, truly one of my first ever hobbies that I feel like I had. But, I don't know, I love for my skin to breathe as well. Okay, you guys, so this is just, like, a good one and a half pumps on the skin. And I think it looks so good. And the reason why I'm saying that is because I'm looking... Like, I'm actually going to take this video so you guys can see. And I think I'm going to put it in the camera. But, ooh, my shirt's all dirty, but it's a black shirt, whatever. I'm looking at the camera, and I just feel like this looks really freaking good on the skin right now. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of the makeup because I'm liking the way it's looking. And, you know, I'm going to have, like, a little summer foundation shit or whatever. It looks really good. So... Let's go ahead and finish the makeup. So again, I did mention that I had the um, concealer by Kali Cosmetics. It's the Power Plush Long Wear Concealer as well. And so I'm going to take this in the shade 6.5. And, and I'm just going to apply a little bit. And it looks... I don't know. I really like this, this not the foundation, but... The um, concealer, like I said, I've used it a couple times already before. So, it is definitely a vibe for me. So, I'm just going to blend her out. I didn't put too much. I didn't want to do too much. I didn't want to do too much. I'm actually about to get ready to go. Because I have a doctor's appointment for my baby so I will be leaving soon so I guess that will be a little test for you guys I'll just come back and let y'all know how it acted in the weather and whatnot it's a little bit warm today I think it's like 70 degrees which is I feel like that's warm for March considering March is like one of those rainy months you know what I mean so I'll let you guys know about that and yeah I'm just I don't know I'm really excited about this foundation so, now that I did that, I'm just going to take a sponge and go under the eye and make sure I blended that very well. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I feel so good to be recording today. I just feel like I haven't done this in so long and I wish I had more time. Not even that it's like I don't have time, but I'm just really tired. So for a little contour, I am going to take another Kali concealer and it's just a little bit darker. And I'm just going to apply it in my contour areas. And then I'll blend her out. Let's see. I'm gonna do like this right here. Mm -hmm. Oh, excuse me. 
excuse me i'll be burping so much let's see but yeah like i was saying i'll just i miss being on camera and i'm really close you guys to like so i got into the youtube partner program i don't know if i mentioned that before on here i did get into the partner program but i don't have the adsense unlocked yet so it's for me to get money like real money on youtube um i need to get that far but i'm just so close i'm like girl you need to pose but i'm tired <laughs> I'm really really tired so we'll see y'all keep watching my videos keep on going because it's really helping me and yeah I just appreciate all of you guys so much and with that being said it's time to do a little baking well I'm not really gonna bake I'm just gonna take some of this um hue to bake powder is it bake powder it is the shape yeah it's the easy bake loose baking and setting powder so i'm just gonna set my under eye real quick <sighs> if i can get it open let's see we just gotta keep my little tools handy <clears throat> there we go all right so i'm gonna take this little brush by morphe oh my gosh i miss morphe like that was a whole thing what happened to them and then let's go up under here actually let me make sure that I really got up under that eye all right now I'm gonna put my powder up under there And then one more thing, I'm going to go in with my Easy Bake Powder with my little sponge. And make sure I really got up in there to set. Setting my under eye. And so for a little bit of bronzer, I'm going to take this bronzer by Patrick Ta. It's called the She's Bronze. Oh, actually, this is the Cream Contour and Powder Bronzer Duo in the shade She's Bronzed. So I'm just going to take a little of this. And I'm just going in with the powder because I had already used some of the Kylie to bronze up a little bit. Yeah, I had did my makeup for my maternity shoe and it turned out so cute. <laughs> that's so random but I was just thinking about that because I was supposed to have somebody do my makeup like it was supposed to come with the maternity shoot and so I was like oh yeah I'll let somebody do my makeup because you know why not just get pampered or whatever and it turned out like her daughter had got COVID or whatever and I was like you know I was really sad about it but then I was like thank god because I like I cannot be around a body that has been exposed to COVID like and you know you've been exposed I mean like it's I'm probably been around people that's been exposed to COVID but like you know you was exposed don't come around me you know what I'm saying so yeah anyways like I said I did my makeup and it was just like a little soft beat but it was still so cute I was like okay like do I still got it <laughs> I still got it but yeah so I'm going to put on a little bit of this liquid uh, liquid blush by Juvia's Place. This is the shade Soft Tulip. If I can get it open. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait. I don't think I can open it. My, my hands hurt so bad because they're swollen. No. Oh, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Teeth of steel. <laughs> Teeth of steel. Okay, so let's put just a little bit on each side. Actually, I ain't even gonna play myself because sometimes these liquid blushes they don't really do right. So I'm just gonna do one cheek at a side, one cheek at a time. I cannot talk in this video for some reason. So let me just 
blend her out first before I try to do anything crazy. And this came out like a lot. So I'm just gonna put two dots on the other side because why is it so much? Like there's a lot of her. So what I'm gonna do is take my foundation brush and blend her out because that wasn't even necessary to put that much on there. So like I said, I'm just gonna take one, two, and hopefully that works out a little bit better. Also, I think this this brush that I got is a little bit flimsy. Like, do I need a new blush brush? Cause this is, it ain't firm. It's not giving, this is, oh, this is Sephora. Okay. Not that anything's wrong with Sephora cause I do love Sephora brushes too, but something ain't feeling right. So I'm gonna go in and blend that with my foundation brush as well. Looking a little like summer. It's giving summertime, which I'm really excited for warm weather. And I never like, if you know me, if you've been on this channel for a long time, y'all know I love fall and winter. But I don't know if it's because my baby's gonna be born in April that we think. We think she's gonna be born in April. Um, that I'm just ready for like spring because like, she's gonna give me like a breath of fresh air. But yeah. I don't know I don't know I don't know no. so I'm just excited for that time of the year and let's do um I'm gonna take this brush right here and just put on a little bit of blush by Mac in the shade peaches Y'all, every time I look at my nails they look so raggedy <laughs> They look so raggedy, like, it's kind of disgusting. And so now I'm actually going to do the lips, and I'm not doing my usual lips. I'm going to go in with the Kylie Jenner um, Dolce K Lip Liner. So, ooh, let me take that out. And I hope I don't have to sharpen it because I really don't feel like doing that right now. So let me find, I need a mirror this ain't working <laughs> this is not working it's not working the way i want it to work so let me see if i sharpen it if it works a little bit better the only thing i feel about like kylie's lip liners is i don't know they don't sharpen like how mac sharpen and by that i mean like i feel like the 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 cosmetic the actual makeup that's inside of the wooden part of the pencil is so flimsy so So now that I've put on lip liner, I'm going to go in with the Tinted Butter Balm and I have the shade She's Lovely. Okay, let me put that up a little bit. And this is actually really pretty. I forgot I had this. But it looks really good. So I'm here for it and it really does go on like butter. I just got like a little dryness on my lip so i'm gonna take care of that and what i usually do is just get like my little tweezers i just get like my little tweezers and i just take a little tug on it so let's see and so last but not least i don't know if i said that already because this is actually the last step. But I'm gonna go in with my Kelly Ray Surf Pre Setting Spray. Cause I need to set this makeup because like I said, I'm about to leave for a doctor's appointment. So. All right. <laughs> Look at cute. 
we look at real, real cute. Okay, so let's take off. Oh, I hate. The only thing I hate about these is they look like a little indent in my curls because I just washed my hair, but whatever. So let me just fluff that back out. All right, so I'm going to take another video so you guys can see the up-close look. All right, you guys, here is what the... Kylie Cosmetics foundation is looking like. Obviously, you can still see like my texture. I have pimples, it's normal. So you guys, I pretty much lost the sunlight for today, but I just wanna say I went to my appointment, um, went to the doctors, um, we went to Barnes and Noble, got Mexican food. So I've been out for a few hours. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to come back and show you guys the makeup. I <laughs> It looks good. Kylie, you did your thing. For somebody like me who doesn't really, you know, I don't really like go out for hours and hours and hours. I mean, like I do, but I don't. So yeah, this looks really good. I have oily skin, so do what you want with that information. I'm gonna take my glasses off. If you didn't know, I wear glasses. But yeah, I'm gonna take them off. I'm assuming there's gonna be like a little print where the makeup has lift it just because that always happens when i wear my glasses and do makeup so i'm gonna go ahead and take these off so we can see yeah i could see like a little and see that's why i didn't want to come on here and y'all be like your makeup's messed up girl no it's just i was wearing my glasses so you can see like some makeup was lifted right here right here right here usually in that situation what i would do is i would have like a little sponge with me or like a brush and just you know pat it if i wanted to ever take my glasses off but i can't see so i will always have my glasses on anyways like and i usually don't even wear lashes with my glasses but these lashes are really short i love these i love this style it's lily lashes i can't remember um the exact style but i need to buy some more because these lashes are the truth they're short and they look really good but yeah back to the foundation i don't know i just feel like it held up really well like do y'all see the skin the nose like it looks good right here the concealer lifted up a little bit but that's normal for me but i don't know like what do y'all think y'all let me know in the comments below if y'all thought that the makeup was black girl friendly in my opinion it is but also you really I don't know. I think you have to try products for yourself because every product not gonna work on every skin type. Like I said, I'm a combination girl. And since I've been pregnant, sometimes my skin is dry, sometimes it's oily. I don't know. I don't know what it's gonna be like when I give birth either, but you know, I've always been notoriously oily, but like I said, things have changed a lot since I've been pregnant because I've had dry patches um, and then I've had oily days. So I just don't know, that could be the hormones and all that stuff but yeah overall i'm really enjoying the foundation i can't wait to put it on again like i want to wear it again just so i can know like what's really going on with this foundation because ain't no way like it's that good like it's giving it's giving she took her time on the formula okay but yeah with that being said i just want to say i'm so glad that you guys are still here y'all still are around um it's just be patient with me because i'm gonna put out content i'm never gonna stop putting out content well never say never but i'm not gonna stop putting out content so be patient with me like i said i'm pregnant and i'm about to be a first time mom so i'm coming just a little bit slow <laughs> just a little bit slow and oh yeah if you're on youtube and have a tiktok account make sure you guys follow my tiktok at adore underscore um yeah because i really want to get my tiktok popping too like everybody else so yeah i'll see you guys in my next video don't forget to like this video if you're not subscribed go ahead and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye you guys